Very Short Stories to Read Together by Marianne Hoberman, illustrated by Michael Emberley. Okay. Introduction. Here's a book with something new. You read to me, I'll read to you. We'll read each page to one another. You'll read one side, I the other. But who will read now guess this riddle when the words are in the middle? The answer's easy, plain as pie. We'll read together, you and I. Okay. The two mice. I see a mouse, I see one too. We see two mice, what shall we do? Let's give them names. What shall they be? Pipe and peep? He and she? Dot and dash, squeal and squeak, to and fro, hide and seek. The two mice are nice, two mice are fun. They're twice as nice as only one. And when we read, it's just the same. Two readers we reading make a game. It's twice as nice. When there are two, you read to me, I'll read to you. The big cat. Oh my, I spy a great big cat. A great big cat? I don't like that. Run, mice, run! Stay, cat, stay. Oh good, the mice have got away. Now, pussy cat, that isn't nice. You shouldn't scare the little mice. We know you want them for your food, but eating mice is really rude. It's not a proper thing to do. Why, what if someone gobbled you? Think how sad your friends would feel if you were eaten for a meal. We'll give you cream, your very own, if you leave the mice alone. And when you're done and full and fat, we'll find a book about a cat. A cat like you with fluffy fur who laps up cream and loves to purr. And lives inside a little house and never ever dines on mouse. We both will read the book to you. The mice can sit and listen too. I hate my hat. I hate my hat. I think it's nice. I hate my hat. You've said that twice. I hate my hat. Now that's a third. I hate my hat. I hate that word. You hate that word. What word is that? That word you said. You mean my hat? No, not your hat. Your hat looks great. I like your hat. It's hate I hate. But not my hat. You don't hate that. Of course I don't. I like your hat. You like my hat? I said I do. I think your hat looks good on you. You like my hat? I like it fine. I like your hat. Do you like mine? Why, yes I do. It suits your head. Now let's do something else instead. Something else we both would like. Let's wear our hats and ride a bike. That sounds good. We'll take a snack. What should we do when we get back? Something that we like to do. You read to me, I'll read to you. Hop and skip. I like to hop, I like to skip. But sometimes when I hop, I trip. And sometimes when I skip, I slip. And sometimes then our clothes might rip. And when they rip, my mom gets mad. And when they rip, so does my dad. My mom says walk instead of run. My dad does too, but that's no fun. If you just walk to where you go, instead of run, you go too slow. But if you skip or if you hop, sometimes it's really hard to stop. But sometimes it is nice to sit. Then let's sit down a little bit. What shall we do? Now let me see. I'll read to you. You'll read to me. The Snowman. Hi ho, hi ho. The world is white, hi-ho, hi-ho. It snowed last night. It snowed while we were fast asleep. It's nice and high, it's very deep. Put on your clothes, the one for snow. Put pull on your boots and then let's go. What shall we do the first of all? Let's build a snowman, roll a ball. I'll roll the bottom on the ground. I'll make the middle nice and round. I'll find a pebble for each eye, and if he starts to melt, he'll cry. His mouth can be an apple slice. An apple slice will turn to ice. I'm getting pretty icy, too. 
You do look icy. So do you. Let's go inside and get a drink. Some cocoa would be good, I think. And while we're in, what shall we do? You read to me. I'll read to you. The dime. I found a dime. You found a dime? I'm finding money all the time. Where do you find it? Here and there, along the street and everywhere. I lost a dime. You lost a dime? I'm losing money all the time. I wonder if you found my dime. I found my dime at dinner time. I lost my dime at five o'clock when I was walking down the block. If what I found belongs to you, there's just one dime instead of two. Shall we divide the dime in two? A nickel each? It's up to you. Or shall we buy one thing to share? That would be fun. That would be fair. We could buy a storybook. We'll hold it so we both can look. We'll hold it so we both can see. I'll read to you. You read to me. Sticky pages. Okay. I like. I like soda. I like milk. I like satin. I like silk. I like puppies. I like kittens. I like gloves. And I like mittens. I like apples. I like pears. I like tigers. I like bears. I like to slide. I like to swing. We don't agree on anything. I like butter. I like jam. I like turkey. I like ham. I like rivers. I like lakes. I like cookies. And I like cakes. I like yellow. I like blue. I like pizza. I like stew. I like summer. I like spring. We don't agree on anything. There's something else I like a lot, but if I like it, you will not. There's something else that I like too, but you won't like it if I do. Tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. I like reading. Reading's fine. You like reading? Yes, I do. Why, reading was what I picked too. Well then, at last we both agree. I'll read to you. You read to me. My snake. I have a snake. Her name is Jill. She sits upon the windowsill. You keep a snake to be your pet? A pretty scary pet, I bet. Jill isn't scary. Not a bit. But can she fetch? Or can she sit? She hasn't learned to do that yet, but still she is a perfect pet. But can she beg or chase a ball? Does she come running when you call? She cannot beg or chase or run, but still Jill is a lot of fun. She doesn't sound like fun to me. What can not she do? What fun is she? Well, Jill can hiss and Jill can smile. Your snake can smile once in a while and Jill can shed her snaky skin. She sheds her skin, then what's she in? She's in another skin that's new. Well, that's a clever thing to do. And when I read my favorite books, Jill hangs around my neck and looks. A thing like that I'd like to see. Will Jill look at some books with me? She'll do it if I'm reading too. Well then, I know what we should do. You read to me, I'll read to you. The telephone. Ding-a-ling, ting-a-ling. The telephone begins to ring. Hello, 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 hello. It's me, I know, it's me, I know. Are you in bed? Not yet, are you? I'm almost there. I'm almost two. I'm in pajamas. I'm not yet. I took a bath. My hair's still wet. Did you do the spelling list? I did. Did you? There's one I missed. I missed two. I had to look. Have you read the chapter book? I've just started chapter three. I have two, so read with me. Read together, not alone, while we're on the telephone. It won't take long to get it done. I'll get my book. It sounds like fun. Back and forth until we're through. You read to me. I'll read to you. The puppy. The puppy's muddy. Look at her. I've never seen such dirty fur. My goodness, she's a grubby pup. I think we better clean her up. Let's put the puppy in the tub and give the pup a great big scrub with lots of water, lots of soap. And that will get her clean, I hope. Now rinse her off. Her bath is done. It's time to dry her hair. Her. It's time to dry her in the sun. She looks so pretty all fluffed up. I've never seen so clean a pup. Oops, oh my, she got away. She's in the mud. Her coat is gray. 
She's dirtier than yesterday. She's having fun, so let's let her play. Then let's find something else to do. I know what, and you do too. You read to me, I'll read to you. The bear. My little brother saw a bear. He saw a bear? He saw it where? He said he saw it in his bed. That's where it was, my brother said. Your brother saw a bear in bed? In his own bed? That's what he said. I bet it gave him quite a fright. It asked if it could spend the night. Spend the night right in his bed? A bear asked that? That's what he said. So then what did your brother say? He told the bear that it could stay, that it could stay a night or more if it would promise not to snore. Your little brother sounds quite brave to tell a bear how to behave. He said he fed it from a cup. Sometimes he likes to make things up. He made it up about the bear? Perhaps he did, but I don't care. It's still a story that is fun. Let's make up another one. We'll write it down, and when we're through, you'll read to me. I'll read to you. New friends. My birthday's here, and mine is too. How old are you? How old are you? I asked you first. You've got to say, all right. I'm six. I'm six today. Why, I am too. We're just the same. We both are six. Well, what's your name? Well, what's yours? You've got to tell. I asked you first. It's Annabelle. Now, what is yours? Why, don't you guess? You've got to tell. All right, it's Jess. Where do you live? I live quite near. Where do you live? A block from here. It's funny that we've never met. I've walked right by your house, I bet. I've bet I've walked right by yours, too, and yet we never even knew. Well, let's be friends. I'd like that fine. Now, you're my friend, and you are mine. Do you know how to read? Do you? I asked you first. I can. Me, too. Well, if we both can read, let's do. You read to me, I'll read to you. The end. We're at the end. The very end. The very, very, very end. No more words or pictures. Look, no more stories in this book. But there are other books to read. Hundreds, thousands, all we need. Anytime, in any weather, we can sit right down together. In the shade or in the sun, choose a book that looks like fun, one that's old or one that's new, make believe or really true. I'll read one line, I'll read two. You read to me, I'll read to you. The end.